Uh, Tommy, when we talked to uh, Coach Jay at the beginning of the season, he said it's hard to have seven, seven and a half sacks like Devon did from the inside uh, last year. You had three in one game. What, what goes into that for you? Uh, just working on my technique, uh, relying on my technique that I've been uh, coached up on by Coach Jay through my years, just relying on that technique, falling back on that technique whenever I'm in the game, just always that keeping it, keeping it in mind and always using it. Were you surprised to you had three sacks? I mean, that's a lot for a defensive tackle. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I was surprised at the end of the game. But, I mean, uh, just everyone, I think, on the whole D-line was getting after the quarterback that whole night, so it was good. All righty, we'll go next to uh, Dan Hope from 11 Warriors. Dan. Yeah, Tommy, what is it that, you know, goes into that as a, as a defensive tackle that allows you to have that kind of performance as a pass rusher? Uh, I think it starts with the get off. You just always got to have a great get off to get into your pass rush, and then just goes from there. Just give what the O line takes uh, gives you. Just go from there. Uh, try to just always have a motor, so you never know what, which one's going to be passed or run. So you always got to have that get off, and I'll just rely on that. Thanks, Tom. All right, we'll go next to uh, Brendan Gulick from Buckeyes Now on Sports Illustrated. Brendan. Hey Tommy, I asked uh, I asked Coach Combs of this question yesterday, and I, I want your uh, take on this as well. This has been a year where uh, everybody's had to be so ready to go at any moment because of all the uncertainty with the virus. Uh, you guys have suffered a couple of injuries, uh, you know, th this past week. So things have just been really touch and go in a lot of ways. Who has stood out to you as someone who has really put their ego aside on the defensive side of the ball? Uh, and, and really bought into the, the concept of just, hey, I, I don't care individually what I'm going to accomplish. I want to know what I can do to help the team. Who stands out to you in that way? Uh, I'll probably say uh, Jonathan Cooper and Tuff Borland. Those are two guys, two captains on our team that always bring it every day and are unselfish, like you said, just always about the team, always about the defense. And I think as a whole defense, I think we have a lot of guys on our defensive side and offensively that we just have guys that can go out and just want to play for the team, play for the brotherhood and just lean on each other. They don't care about individual success. They just want to go out and try to get the win. Thank you. All righty, next up is Joe Dempsey from Buckeye Sports Bulletin. Joe. Hey, Tommy. Um, everybody on the defense has different roles. How would you uh, describe what you bring to the defense? Uh, I think I just bring a high motor, high energy to the defense, try to make plays when I can, try to bring that energy so everyone energy will spread throughout the defense when someone on the D-line can make a play or something like that, especially sacks or something like that. So I just try to bring energy, bring that motor, just try to really drive the defense, try to do the best I can. All right, next up is uh, Nathan Baird from Cleveland.com. Nathan. Hey, Tommy. This wasn't one of your – many counting stats from the other night, but um, there was a play where you were the one who was sort of chasing Clifford um, across the field and, and, and angling him out of bounds early. I'm just curious, is, is, that, is that speed just something you naturally have or is the speed something you've been working on and, and how do you do that? No, yeah, that's something that's my speed as I've been working on after, since my, after my freshman year. I've, been, I've talked to Coach Mick, talked to our strength staff about trying to really up my speed, try to get faster. And I think it's paying dividends from them in the training room and stuff like that. So, What what sorts of things do you have to do to, to work on speed at your position? Uh, so probably same thing with stance and then just, I mean, just the running form and everything like that. We've, I've been incorporated with Coach Mick and all the, all the strength and staff just help me with my running form and things like that. All right, we'll go next to Austin Ward from Letterman Row. Austin. Tommy, what you've seen from, from Haskell in these last two weeks, how, how high of a level is he playing at next to you there? I think he's playing at an astounding level for me to come back from what he's been through to play at the level he's playing at right now. It's unbelievable. And, like, that's one of our guys, too. We're going to need him to step up like he has been this last two games because we're going to really need him throughout the year. So I think he's been playing really big. All righty, we'll go next to uh, Tim May from Letterman Row. Tim. Thanks, Mike. 
Hey, Tommy, you know, I, we were asking you, I know I asked you about the, the sort of the burden may not be the right term, but the, maybe the doubt about the middle of the defensive line, at least going into the year, would you guys be able to step up and fill those shoes of Devon and Jay Sean? And I'm just wondering two games in, uh, what would be your answer to people now? Obviously, you guys were extremely active uh, Saturday. Uh, just well, what's your sense and confidence now? You were confident then, but what's your sense? Has it gone up? Uh, I mean, I mean, I still have that same confidence that we had at the, at the start of the year. I know the guys we have in our room and what we're capable of, and I just believe in the guys next to me that we can go out and uh, do something special each night. Yeah, and who do you think is coming online next? I mean, for you guys, it could be really assert himself. Uh, who's sort of, who's sort of ready to to bloom, so to speak? Uh, I think at end spot we have a lot of guys that can go off. Uh, they're just waiting to go off, like Zach Harrison, uh, Tyreek Smith, or Tyler Fryder, even Javante. So all those guys have a chance. I think in the inside too, Tehran is just. It was only his first game last week coming back for yeah. not having played football in a long time. So. I think just waiting on him. So as he progresses, he'll get, he's just waiting to have a breakout game as well. So, thanks, man. Yep. All righty, we'll go next to Bill Landis from the Athletic. Bill. Hey, Tommy. Uh, after one of your stacks the other night, um, Haskell, I think, was on the sideline. He came off the field and kind of celebrated with you. And then I saw he tweeted out the picture of that afterward. I'm just I'm just wondering what the relationship is like between the two of you guys. Uh, well, I mean, with me and Haskell, it's always been, I mean, really close, both being Polynesian as well. So, I mean, when I first got on campus my freshman year, he was one of the guys, I mean, I spent a lot of time with just hanging out and stuff like that. So, we really created a good close bond over the years. And do you see that translate to the field at all when you guys are lined up next to each other out there together? Yeah, I think it does play a little bit into the, I mean, the closer you are to your teammates, the better you'll play with your teammates. So, I think that plays a big role. So, it's just that camaraderie and stuff like that will really bode well for us. All righty, we'll go now to Patrick Murphy from 24-7 Sports. Patrick. Haskell, obviously the sack stood out for you on the stat sheet, but you guys held Penn State to, I think, 44 rushing yards, kept the quarterback run in check. Um, what went into that interior of the defensive line, the defensive line as, as a whole, in terms of sh shutting down the run specifically against Penn State? Yeah, I know Coach Jay always talks about it each week, like trying to – we always got to stop the run first to be able to rush the passer. So if you want to rush the passer, you got to be able to stop the run first. And that's just like what we always created each week going into each week. We want to be able to stop the run and then be able to rush the passer after that. All right, Tommy, appreciate the time today. Thank you very much. And we'll bring you